you know, like I said, I've spent enough time in this in the South Cave here that I'm pretty familiar with it by now. The other nice thing about coming here first is you can kind of have a a little bit higher view and you can look out and see if you can spot the other set of hunters. Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to rotate our chicken. Uh, so I just went out and got another uh, wild live chicken and we'll put him in there and then we will butcher our level 10 and get all that goodness from the chicken. Uh, so the plan for the episode for today's episode is that we are going to go down deep into the caves and get some crystal and do our first cave run of season two the first of many i'm sure um so let's put this in here we'll put that in there um and we got some fat here that we can put in here i killed a wolf also right before we started the episode let's put that there i've got a, a full stack of copper a full stack of zinc and then i'm putting uh, the overflow down in here uh so that's good We'll put that stuff there. Put this stuff here. Uh, we got a couple of attacks yesterday, I think it was. In-game day. It's been a couple of days uh, since the last episode. Um, but I don't think we got the uh, an attack from the third hunter. So it could come at any time. But hopefully, while we're down in the cave, we don't get you know all three of them hitting us at the same time. One thing I've noticed, too, is that since I put you know the walls up over there, um, they are starting to come around and attack like in this area rather than here, which is interesting I'm not sure exactly why their AI has changed its strategy to do that, but um, Yeah, they, they seem to be doing that now. So anyway, we will continue to um, finish out our um, Defenses uh, all the way around there. I want to uh, Also, it's, it is my plan and I think I mentioned this to you guys a long time ago when we started this series is that we I'm, I'm gonna build a bridge uh, across to that rock there so that you know we can just get across the lake much more quickly especially you know since the hunters don't even seem to come on this side I'm not too worried about that if at some point in the future it looked like they were gonna maybe start coming on that side then what I might do is uh, put like a, a gap so, you know, build the bridge, but then remove one of the ceilings, and then we just jump across to prevent their AI from thinking that's a pathway to us. Uh, if they, it, you know, if it became evident they started using it. All right, let's put this down here, and these things can go, whoops. Uh, actually, yeah, we're not taking the lockpick down into the cave, so let's do that. We're also not going to take all of our weapons down there, too. So, what I think, uh, I have... I've got quite a few shotgun shells, and we got a decent amount of rifle ammo. Uh, so let's not take the magnum down there. Um, I th I think I think we're not going to take the shotgun either. Um, so yeah, we'll take the rifle, and we'll take the nine mil with a full stack of of bullets. And uh, I don't think we'll take our bow down there either. Uh, so we're just going to take that with us. Uh, we want to make sure we have a, a full pick. So let's just make another one of those right now. And we'll take the one we have too because we want to get as much crystal as we can. Uh, we can also get coal down there which we can use to as an alternative fuel to wood. And that way we can save our wood for other things. So, yeah, we'll get we get that pick made. Um, as far as food goes, uh, we're just yeah, I'm not planning on being down there for a really long time, so we're just gonna make sure we're fully uh, stocked up. Beef. Oh, I hear an eagle outside. Before we leave, I kind of wish those guys would attack before we go down there, so we get it over with, kind of thing. But whatever. 
Let's put that in there. Uh, let's see. I also put in another power storage and another mass storage. So, so we now have a total of 2,500 power and 300 mass. Um, so we're going to start building that up. And then uh, in terms of what's on the to-do list, uh, obviously we want to finish the defenses. But um, I want to I want to start thinking about maybe making the double barrel shotgun. I want to make the you know the the cooking pot, and we need to start looking also at um, upgrading the efficiency of our equipment. Like starting probably with the fridge. So doing some upgrades here um, to you know so it uses less power. In fact, we might even end up doing this first because I already I have six ingots, um, so. We're looking at that and, you know, I'll decide as we go along what those priorities should probably be. Uh, I have not yet seen the hunters actually come all the way around and into the yard here. They just, they just kind of like that corner for some odd reason. So, okay. Um, now, down in the cave, we also want to take uh, an antidote with us because of the bats that can mess us up. Uh, so we're going to take that. Um, let's go ahead and take, I don't have a, a mining, a, a miner set up yet to get water. So we're just going to have to take our own canteens down there for hydration. And so we got that. Uh, let's see, we got two bandages. Let's, let's make some more of those. So one, two, three, that'll give us five bandages. Okay. So we'll, so we'll take five bandages. We got three health kits, which is good. Um, so let's, we can put that there and maybe put the axe in slot number one. I'm going to leave these guns where they are just because that's where my muscle memory is used to getting them. And I think that gets us good to go, um, except for topping off our food and water right before we leave. Now let's make sure that you are fully topped off. And that's done. All right, so we want to grab our diving gear, and we want to grab two tanks. That's all we need to take down there with us. We're not going to mess around on the lake bed. Uh, we're just going to go right down to the cave and then right back out of it when we're finished. Um, so we got that. So our main goal is to get crystal, um, because once we get the crystal, then we can um, make higher-end things like the climbing axis, for example, and other things that we'll need crystal for, the better arrows and whatnot. Okay, so we got that set. I think we're ready to go. I just, like I said, I wish they would attack us at least once. But it doesn't look like they're they're on my schedule. They're on their own schedule. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Okay, so let's go here. And you know what? The more I think about this, you guys, let's just do this right now. Let's just do it. So we want those. Um, we're going to need some rope. And what else did it say it needed? Uh, scrap and... and yeah, okay, so let's grab that, too. We're just going to get her done. All right, so we need to make two ropes, because we're going to do both of these at the same time. Yeah, you just finished with that. I'm not going to I'm not going to process anymore. Uh, I'll keep gathering the ore itself, but I'm not going to process these while we have a full stacks. Uh, primarily just because, you know, it, it'll allow us to build our power back up more quickly. Uh, okay, so basically this uses point... 0.2 power, so 20% of one unit of power, I guess, is that that's how you'd say it. Oh, we got we need the mass. Oh crap. I just made a I just made a lock pick two right before I started the camera, but this is almost there. Alright, so I so based because of that, we're actually gonna only do one because I'm not gonna wait around for the the mass to build up uh, again to 80. Uh, but when we get back, it should be built up to 80, and then we can do this second upgrade. So it should pop up to 70 in just a second here. And then we can do the first upgrade. Uh, speaking of mass, um, I was on the, the multiplayer server yesterday and I streamed for a few hours yesterday afternoon. And if you guys are interested in watching the live streams, you know you can find the videos for that on the channel too. They are live streams, so of course, you know, they're going to be longer than a normal episode. But uh, does that just not upgrade? Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got the first upgrade. So now it's just using 0.15, and then when we do the second one, it'll only use 0.10, and that's going to make our refrigerator much more efficient. Okay, let's put this stuff back for now. 
Uh, we're also going to upgrade, you know, this uh, to use less power and eventually add more slots. Um, we'll upgrade probably the crop plots. Uh, we didn't. I want to do a light upgrade on the second crop plot, but we're going to be planting more crop plots too. I'll probably have four in total when it's all said and done. So one for each uh, vegetable, and then the cotton we just kind of interweave into whichever ones have space, uh, which is what I did in season one, and it seemed to work out pretty good. It kept me in the in the veggies, and you know allowed me to keep feed the animals and stuff uh, without running out. So it worked out pretty good. Um, okay, so. I think uh, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and stock up on our food. Um, so we're gonna eat a liver and a steak, and that should top us fully up there. Let's throw back a couple tomatoes here. Uh, you know what we could do, actually? Let's take some protein bars with us, and let's take some blueberries down there with us, because th these won't spoil. And that way, we have some food whilst we're down there. Uh, we're going to drink, uh, let's drink from both of those and then refill them up. Now, eventually, like I did in Season 1, we'll probably actually set up an outpost down in the caves. But, you know, that's not something we're, we're really practically ready to do yet. That'll come later on. That's more into end-game stuff. And we're kind of, in my opinion, we're kind of in the mid-game right now with this series. Okay, so we'll just wait for those uh, to cook back up and then we'll then we'll be ready to take off. And again, be nice if an attack would come before we leave. Sounds kind of weird uh, wishing that an attack would happen, huh? Uh, is this ready? Oh, look at that. We got a potato plant ready. Okay. Uh, I've, I've been getting a lot of cotton seeds lately out of locked crates and stuff, so uh, we're planting it like crazy, which is great because it's going to help us. I, I think, you know, even though we're in the into May now, which we are, by the way, I am going to make the winter gear next, just so we have it. Um, which means we're going to make the coat and probably even the sweater. And then all cotton after that can go towards, you know, other things that, that require cotton. But we'll just get that out of the way, and then, you know, then we don't have to worry about it for next winter. Anyway, um, I see, I um, came down here for another seed. Looks like we have some carrot seeds, so let's grab one of those, and we'll just put the potatoes back in there. There we go. Um, these guys could stand some water. So, yeah, I better I better take care of that, too. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera, get the, the crops watered, and then when I'm re actually ready to go and I jump in the water with the scuba gear on, that's when I'll bring you guys back. Uh, or if we get an attack, I'll bring you back at that point. Okay, so I'll see you in just a little bit here. All right, guys, we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and put our scuba gear on here. And we're going to head out. Now the cave is down this way. I'm going to stay on the surface until we're actually ready to dive down just to save as much O2 as possible. And uh, as you can see, I decided just to wait out the night. And I did a couple more things around the base. Uh, went through and harvested the trees on the island again and stuff like that. And, uh, in, you know, hoped that we'd get an attack, but it didn't happen. So, you know, if we get nailed a couple times today, we get nailed a couple times today. Won't be the end of the world. I saw Bravo out fishing early, real early this morning. Okay, so the cave is going to be you're probably here. Let's look at our map. It's over this way. Yeah, kind of off those points over there. I'm actually quite familiar with the South Cave. I've been in it many times. Um, the North Cave, on the other hand, not so familiar with. Uh, the Lava Cave, I'm also pretty familiar with, too. And if you didn't know this, the Lava Cave inner, uh, or, or connects the North and the South Cave. So if you go through the lava zone uh, from here you can get up to the north cave and then vice versa okay awesome our first cave adventure for season two looking forward to this um our main goal like i said is crystal but uh, we also will grab coal and phosphorus as we come across it and um 
If we can avoid the hunters, we will. Um, hunters down in the cave, by the way, uh, particularly the 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 non-lava portion of the caves, they're kind of like rogues. They're not really, in my opinion, worth killing for the loot. Um, so if you can avoid them, you're better off avoiding them. And so, you know, that's what we will attempt to do if we can. Um, in addition to the hunters, if you're not familiar with the caves in the game, uh, the other enemy down here are bats. Those are, there's giant bats that will attack. And um, they have a high chance of giving you rabies, which is not surprising. Well, not rabies, just, you know, the, the normal infected thing, which is why I brought an antibiotic down here. Okay, let's switch back to our combat vest, and we'll just carry the scuba gear around. And let's start looking for crystal. Crystal and coal. Well, yeah, it figures. That yeah, figures. Okay, there's our first crystal node. Let's use up this ax our pickaxe first. Very cool. So yeah, the crystal is going to allow us to make higher end stuff, including the, the climbing axes. Uh, I want to definitely have the climbing axes with us the next time we come down into this cave. So that we can then go into the lava part of the cave. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can spot the bats before they aggro you and then, you know, take a pot shot at them. They're kind of hard, hard to hit. Mostly because everything in this game that is in motion is hard to hit. Uh, but more often than not, the bat sees me before I see it. But uh, we'll, we'll kind of just keep our eyes uh, on the roof as we move through here. And if we do happen to, to see one of them little buggers hanging from the roof, we'll definitely see if we can take it out. Alright, let's get this crystal here. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of look down through there. Let's go back over to this side. And if I don't spot anything, um, we're going to kind of go around the other, along the other wall to get down to the next portion. Oh, and there's mushrooms down here too. Now, the nice thing about the mushrooms, actually, I forgot all about these mushrooms. The nice thing about the mushrooms is they give you both protein and vegetables. Um, so it's kind of, I, I'm assuming cold games put them down here. So we have, have some kind of way to eat while we're down here. Um, but they're not abundant. So that's why I liked, you know, to bring some of my own. Oh, look, there's crystal right there. Uh, bring some of my own stuff down here too, the protein bars and all that stuff. Okay. So we'll grab this crystal. Um, the 9 mil pistol is also a really good weapon to bring down here because that seems to be the ammo that the, hunt, the cave hunters drop the most, at least, you know, last time I did this. Uh, so they, you know, when you do kill them, they help replenish your ammo. Okay, there's some phosphorus. I'm expecting that bat to aggro us any time now. I'm not, I don't... I'm not spotting it, though, but it's around. I'm sure it is. Okay, let's grab this phosphorus. This looks like potassium, uh, but it's our phosphate, I guess. And uh, what we use this for is to make incendiary rounds. Okay. We'll come down here and grab this coal. The cave is in, um, you know, multiple, there's multiple caverns in the cave too. So this is just the first cavern. As we go deeper in there, there'll be more caverns. I just really like this aspect of, I thought I heard wings flopping. Uh, this aspect of the game though, it's almost like going into a whole nother world, you know? It Well, in a sense it is. Okay, so let's 
peek around. This is where we came in up there. Okay. Let's go down through here. Because we might find some more crystal or coal. And, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just very wary. Oh, there's the hunters. Okay. Um, I don't know if they spotted us or not. I'm going to say they probably didn't. Now, one, there is one good reason to kill the hunters, and that is then, then you can access their campfire. And uh, the bats drop meat, so, you know, you could cook the meat. But they're still, you know, very dangerous. They don't drop really super good loot. And uh, so, again, I just, I kind of treat them like rogues. If I can avoid them, I'm going to avoid them. I'm not going to attack them deliberately. All right, so, anyway, there's a crystal node right in front of us. Um, I like to kind of come down the other way where those hunters are, too, because usually you can find deposits there, but obviously we're not going to do that this time. Okay, we got the bat. Really hard to hit. Really hard to hit. Okay. So we got a piece of meat, and we got some cloth too, uh, which we can use to make bandages if we need to. Now, um, you guys reminded me in the comments that you can eat raw red meat in this game, and it won't hurt you. You don't get as much nutrition from it, but in a pinch, you know, you could eat it. The idea of eating raw meat from a bat, however, doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> I mean, if we were absolutely starving, you know, but still. Yeah. Actually, the idea of eating bat meat in any form doesn't sound very appetizing. Okay. Um. So, yeah, the hunters are, are kind of up that way, so we're going to just stay... Over here, there's nothing in this water here. It's just water. And work our way around into the next part of the cavern here. And there's usually two separate groups of hunters in the in the cave. Okay, so we want to go this way to the left to get down. This is like the second cavern. It's a smaller cavern than the other ones. Um, and there's a couple of passages. If you go down this passage, which we're going to do just to see if there's any deposits, it comes out to an overlook that kind of overlooks the, the inner cavern. And we'll, we'll, sh we'll look at that and then I'll, we'll go the other way and I'll show you where this overlook is when down below. So, you know, like I said, I've spent enough time in this in the south cave here that I'm pretty familiar with it by now. The other nice thing about coming here first is you can kind of have a, a little bit higher view and you can look out and see if you can spot the other set of hunters. But I'm not seeing any campfires from here. I don't know if that water's... That water probably is deep enough to jump off. I've never actually tried it. But we're not going to do that anyways because I want to go... I want to go down the other passageway because we might have more crystal nodes and stuff. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't see any hunters down there. Okay, so let's go back this way. And this leads us into the third cavern of the South Cave. Now, we want to be careful because, again, there's I'm fully expecting there to be another hunter group down here somewhere. Um, that area up there is the overview that we were, we were looking at earlier. Okay. So, what? Uh, let's actually go over here for a second. I want to see how deep this water is. Yeah, I would I would think that's plenty deep to to jump off of there if we wanted to do that at some point. I I think we'd be able to manage that without getting hurt. 
All right, now uh, we have a coal up that way. So let's uh, let's move up this direction, and we have another crystal too, and we got a bat. Where is he? Okay, good. We killed him. Managed to kill him before he got us. That's the important thing. So yeah, two pieces of cloth. So each bat kill gives you one piece of meat and two cloth to make a bandage. If you need it. Okay, let's go up this way. We got a crystal and a coal. Again, the coal is, is nice to have because you can use it to burn and save your wood. It, it burns at the same ratio as the wood, so it's not any better than the wood, but it just lets you save your wood, you know, for building and other things. There's some more shrooms. Oh, the shrooms don't have a spoil... Uh, I don't think the shrooms have a spoiler on them. Uh, so that's another good thing about them. Get this crystal. And this coal. we got to be careful because the hunters could possibly be on the other side of that big boulder in front of us. Okay, let's go around this way. And we got another crystal right up here. Beautiful. I'm going to... Hopefully this pick can do one more without breaking. I think it can. Yeah. All right. We're going to retire this and use it for mass. Now, let's be careful coming around up through here. Okay, we got crystal and phosphorus. And I, th I think we're clear of the hunters. Let's just peek around this corner here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, this is actually where I built my outpost in season, uh, season one. And the reason I built it there is because this passage down through here leads to the lavas. And we'll go, we'll go down to the entrance of it, but we won't be able to actually go into that area because we don't have the climbing picks yet. So we'll grab this phosphorus, phosphate, keep calling it phosphor, phosphate, and a crystal here. Yeah, you always want to bring an extra pick with you when you come down here. Oh, I see the hunter's fire. It's way down there, which is a good spot for them to be because they're far away from us. So we don't have to mess with them. Let's just run over into this area really quick. See if there's any more nodes over here. There's kind of a weird fence area with a light. Um, and I'm wondering if Cold Games is planning on opening this up in, in a future update and having it lead, you know, to another location. May, or maybe it'll be another entrance to the cave or something. Oh, yeah. You know what I think this is, actually, guys? I mean, I don't know this for sure, but rumor has it that he's going to put in an entrance to the caves from, from the grounds. And that, maybe this will be the way to get down here, now that I think about it. Uh, that's pure speculation on my part, though. Okay, we got to be careful not to alert the hunters, but I just want to look around here real quick to see if there are any crystals that we can grab. Okay, I'm not seeing anything, and even if there was something a little closer down there, I wouldn't risk going after it. At this point. And you know, just like up above too, you can pass through the area, harvest all the crystal and the coal, and then come back a little while later and it can repop. So there's that too. Okay, let's go down to the entrance to the lava area. Um, plus the fact that, you know, uh, we might find some more nodes on the way down here. And I'll just show it to you. Um, 
But, again, we won't be able to go down here until we get the climbing axes. Now, the cool thing about the lava area is... Um, there's... Yeah, see, it says climbing gear is required to venture further. The cool thing about the lava area is there's really good loot down here, but it's also really dangerous because, you know, it's got hunters all over the place. Uh, and you also have have a heat debuff because, you know, you're close to the lava, so you get thirsty really quick. Um, and what we what we want to do, and this was actually suggested to me in the comments, is um, we want to build a mining drill and have a drill for water, and then you just get a big old stack of that water and bring it down with you, which is a really good idea. So that'll come up, you know, be coming up in, in a future episode. I'm not sure exactly when we'll be ready for that because, you know, we'll just have to kind of play that one by ear. We need crystal for more than just the climbing picks. How much do we have so far? We have 29. Okay, that's that's okay. It's not a ton, but it's okay. All right, well, let's work our way back, avoiding the hunters over there. And, um, you know, see if uh, hopefully we can get a couple more spawns on the way back. I'd like to I'd like to get a little more crystal than we currently have if if possible. But I'm not really seeing anything else in here. So let's go down through this way. So we came out down there and the hunters are just going to be right up that direction. Just looking to see if there are any deposits that we might be able to ninja out from under their nose. There's, there's a coal deposit there, but... Oh, it just disappeared. Oh, no, wait, what? <laughs> That's funny. It keeps popping in and out. Um, I don't know. That's... That's kind of risky. I'd probably do it if it was crystal. Yeah, see the hunter's actually coming over this way. See him there? He's looking straight at us, but he doesn't actually detect us. If that was crystal, I'd probably try for it, but I'm not going to risk it for coal. Coming down here and doing a full trip, you know, and getting back out without engaging the hunters is good. Doesn't always happen that way, though. But you're just, you know, they're just not worth engaging if you don't have to. All right, let's check around in the middle cavern here again. See if anything repopped. Not seeing anything. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna run back down this corridor real quick. Okay, let's stop and eat some... Let's eat these shrooms. Uh, the shrooms aren't used in any recipes. Um, we might as well eat this too. Because, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start going bad. And that actually gets us up pretty good. Let's have one thing of water. And I might, I might try and hang on to, to that stuff. Let's, let's see if we can... Because, you know, we're, we're, gonna, we're just about done here for today. And we can just hang on to the, the protein bars in particular for the next time. Okay, so we can't go up that way because that's where the hunters, the other hunter group was. So we're going to have to go back around this direction. And again, I'm just kind of, okay, there's a crystal there. Um, I think we can, we should be able to get to that without alerting the hunters as long as they don't come up over the top of the hill there. Let's crouch down too. Even though mining this makes an enormous amount of noise. <laughs> I don't think that the AI cares about that. Okay, let's go up through here. And we got another stupid bat. And a base attack too. How about that? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, that one gave us three cloth. That was a level three bat, too. Okay. Okay, so we'll go up through here. Oh, three attacks. Of course, game. Wait till wait till the player goes down into the caves and then have all three hunters attack him at the same time. Appreciate that, game. <laughs> Crap. Okay, well, we're going to have some repairing to do when we get home, that's for sure. I see a coal over there and a coal there. Uh, let's just kind of peek our head around over this way again. We know the hunters are, I think, down that way. Oh, good. Phos a phosphate. I got the name right that time. Okay, there's a crystal. I think we can get to that. Let's peek around this corner here. We'll grab this coal as well. Okay, so those guys were maybe right kind of down around the other side of that pit, big pillar there, I think. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, let's back up and go over this way. We have another coal here. Didn't we come down this way and see them right down there? I don't know. Well, let's not go any further that way anyways. All right. So we are coming out of here with 37 crystal, 12 phosphate, and 30 coal. So not too bad. Not too bad. Put our scuba gear on. And... Yeah. Not too bad for our first cave run of Season 2, particularly uh, also that we didn't have to fight any of the hunters. So we saved ammo for that and didn't get hurt and saved durability on our scuba gear and all that good stuff. So what we'll do is we'll take this back and we have to refine it in the refinery. And then once we have the actual crystal, we'll have to decide uh, what the most important first thing we want to use it for. Probably going to be the climbing axis. Probably. But I, I, I don't know. i got to look at some other things, too, that requires the crystal and make that decision uh, when the time comes. So, yeah, let's head back to the base. Um, and uh, we're going to have some repairing to do, like I said. And it is nighttime, so you can stay down here uh, at the bottom of the, the lake and, you know, start harvesting stuff if you want to keep using air, but in this, I don't think we'll, we're going to do that. We're just going to surface. And as you can see, it looks like we actually managed to pull this off with one tank. Uh, but it's advisable to bring two tanks down. Yeah, we, we did that whole thing with one tank, so if you if you get right over the cave... Dive straight down, go inside, 
um, and then come back out. It looks like you can do this with it with one tank, which is really nice. Really nice. Oh, it looks like we still have hunters at the base. They might be stuck underneath our thing. Uh, they probably are because they wouldn't otherwise still be there. So maybe we can at least get revenge on a couple of them. Yep, see the blue glow sticks there? We'll, we'll probably just melee them because if they're stuck, then we might as well not waste any of our ammo. You know what I am going to do, though? Uh, we're going to actually drop off our crystal, drop off our stuff first, just in case something bad happens and I die. I don't want to, you know, lose any of what we just worked so hard to get to or get obtain. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Obtain. Yeah, he's stuck underneath the stairs. Sucks to be you, buddy. I'm going to come and have a word with you here in just a couple of minutes. You stay put. Yeah, let's drop off our stuff first. So I'm just going to put all this in here. Let's put this back in here. Stick that in the fridge. Okay, let's get our normal um, ammo back in place. Uh, normal guns, I should say. That could go there. Yeah, put that on. That goes there. And we'll take half of the shotgun shells and the extra two of those. We can put an antidote back. All right, let's go. Let's go deal with this guy. You came to attack us, did you, buddy? It's a bad mistake on your part. Bad, bad mistake. Okay. So let's, uh, before I let you guys go, let's just take a quick survey of the base and see how bad the damage is. Uh, like I said, they've been coming over here lately to attack. Well, I'm not seeing any visible damage, like, you know, severe damage. So that's good. What about more over this way? Okay, yeah, this got hit pretty hard. Right in through here. Everything up here looks pretty good. So yeah, um, it looks like they concentrated most of their uh, most of their attack on. Uh, just these two panels here. Very cool. All right. Well, I'll get that repaired and um, we'll go from there. You guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed our first cave expedition. That went very, very smoothly. I couldn't have asked for a better situation. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, like I said, is we're going to take this. Uh, yeah, we'll take the crystal first and put this in here and break that down. And that'll give us 37 um, refined crystals. And then I will decide, uh, like I said, what we're going to do with the those first bit of crystals. Um, probably what we'll do, is this at 100? Yeah, so let's throw this in here. Probably what we'll do is we'll make the um, the climbing axes. How much uh, how much does that cost? Actually, we got to do that over here. Oh, it only takes 12 crystal. Okay, but, oh, geeks, but it takes 8 ingots though. Yowzers. Oh, speaking of which... Um, let's do this other upgrade too. So let's see, we need a rope, ingots, uh, scrap and electronics, I think. Boom. All right, nice. Now our refrigerator is, wait, 
Okay, I was gonna. I was freaking out there. It wasn't showing up great. So now I just use point eleven power. So we we cut the power consumption of this almost in half, um, which is great. So that's gonna, that's going to help a lot. And those are the only two upgrades you can do on that. You can do upgrades on the stove, but the stove, you know, the thing about the stove is you don't use it. You only use it uh, occasionally. So that's that's not a high priority upgrade. We might do it eventually. Uh, probably the next upgrade we're going to want to do is going to be uh, this guy. So so we can add additional slots and also increase uh, power efficiency on here. So I'll be uh, doing that. It will reduce the refining ore by 25%. I'll be working on that. And then um, probably uh, when you... Oh, look. There's an ammo crate. Uh, probably what we'll do next is work on getting a light on the other crop plot and maybe even adding a third crop plot. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, look at that. We got some eggs. Nice. So, yeah, that's what's coming up. Um, then, of course, there's more looting in our future and more cave trips uh, as we go along. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.